Have you ever worried if you're charging your electric bike battery the right way? Or if your charger might cause harm? What about extreme weather or long-term storage? Could they destroy your battery? If these questions make you uneasy, you're not alone. Managing an e-bike battery, especially a higher risk lithium ion battery, isn't just about plugging it in and writing off. A poorly maintained battery can not only reduce your e-bike's range and lifespan, but also pose safety hazards like fires or electrical malfunctions. The good news? These risks are avoidable with the right knowledge and proper charging habits. I'm Lisa at eBiking Today, and I'm giving you easy solutions to 10 common concerns about your e-bike's battery management system, also known as BMS. To start, here's what you need to know about how your e-bike battery works. The battery management system, or BMS, is a critical component that protects your lithium ion battery from overcharging, undercharging, overheating, and balancing the energy between cells to ensure optimal performance and safety. Lithium ion batteries store energy by moving lithium ions between two electrodes, creating a flow of electricity. They're powerful and efficient, but require careful handling to ensure long life and safety. Your e-bike battery charger is designed to work with the BMS to keep your battery healthy. Misusing it can cause problems ranging from reduced range to fire hazards. Now let's talk about 10 common concerns and what you can do to address them. Number one, overcharging the battery. Overcharging damages the cells, reducing battery life and increasing fire risk. The solution? Never leave your battery plugged in for extended periods, especially overnight. The BMS usually prevents overcharging, but it's better to unplug once fully charged. Number two, undercharging or partial charges. Regularly undercharging can cause your battery to lose capacity over time. Solution, aim to keep your battery charged between 20% and 80% for routine use and perform a full charge once a month to recalibrate the BMS. Number three, deep discharge. Letting your battery drain completely can damage the cells and make it hard for the BMS to recover. The solution, recharge your battery before it falls below 10%. And if you're storing the bike, keep the battery at 40 to 60% charged. Number four, using the wrong charger. An incompatible charger can bypass the BMS, overheat the battery, or cause uneven charging. Solution, always use the manufacturer provided charger or one recommended for your e-bike's battery type. Avoid cheap aftermarket chargers as they may lack safety features. And they're unlikely to be UL certified. Finally, label your chargers if there's more than one in your home. Number five, temperature extremes. Extreme heat or cold can damage battery cells and impair the BMS's ability to function. The solutions, charge and store your battery at room temperature ideally between 15 to 25 degrees Celsius or 59 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Avoid charging immediately after a ride if the battery feels hot. Number six, moisture and water exposure. Water can seep into the battery casing, short circuit the BMS, and damage the battery. Solution, keep your e-bike battery dry. If you ride in wet conditions, ensure the battery and connectors are sealed. Don't wash your e-bike with a high pressure hose. This is a good time to mention that this video is part of my Everything You Want to Know About E-Bikes playlist. Make sure to subscribe to e-biking today to get more videos like this one. Number seven, improper storage. Storing the battery for long periods without precautions can degrade its performance or render it unusable. Solution? 
If storing the battery for more than a month, keep it at 40 to 60% charge and in a cool, dry place. Periodically check and recharge it every few months. Number eight, physical damage to the battery. Drops or impacts can damage battery cells or the BMS circuitry, leading to dangerous malfunctions. Solution, handle the battery carefully during installation, removal, and transport. Inspect the battery casing regularly for cracks or damage. Number nine, overloading the battery. Drawing too much power, such as using high assist mode on steep hills for long periods, can overheat the battery and stress the BMS. Solution, use low or medium assist settings during prolonged climbs or heavy usage. Additionally, allow the battery to cool down between demanding rides. And here's the number 10 reason to worry about your e-bike battery management system. Ignoring battery age. Over time, all lithium ion batteries degrade and the BMS may not be able to compensate for aging cells. Solution, keep track of your battery's age and performance. Most e-bike batteries last three to five years or 500 to 1000 charge cycles. Replace the battery when you notice significant range loss, charging issues, or damage to the battery. Now, here are a few tips for charging your e-bike battery safely. Charge in a safe location. Use a fire-resistant surface away from flammable materials. Monitor the charging process. Don't leave your battery unattended for long periods. You can even set a timer to make sure that you check your battery every few hours. Use the right outlet. Plug directly into a wall outlet, not an extension cord or power strip. Avoid overheating. If the charger or battery gets excessively hot, unplug it immediately. Okay, so your e-bike battery and its BMS are like the heart and brain of your e-bike. Treating them with care ensures safety, reliability, and longevity. By following these guidelines, you'll enjoy a smooth and worry-free e-biking experience for years to come. Now, go out and enjoy your ride.